Da tænder jeg kaldt til en kartol, og jeg hører mig til. Jeg er mannen, jeg er rejer, jeg er alvægt til dem, tænder jeg kaldt til. Jeg er ikke ude. Tænder jeg kaldt til. Tænder jeg kaldt til. Tænder jeg kaldt til. Men det er stort. Uh, members, both uh, in governance and uh, in the executive, and other stakeholders uh, in the water space, welcome, Hainai, welcome to this um, very timely uh, water summit. Um, there we have a, a range of um, expert speakers who will offer uh, considered food for thought and considerable food for thought over the next two days. It's a, it's a very good opportunity to get on top of some of these issues. Before I uh, do though, before I get into it, a little bit of housekeeping. The toilets are, are out through the door and to the left. Uh, needless to say, it's a non-spoken venue. Um, the Wi-Fi, uh, there's free Wi-Fi here. The password is black and gold, all one word, black and gold. Um, evacuation procedures in the event um, of there being a need to. Uh, the meeting point is outside the uh, Wellington Free Ambulance Building, and uh, if there's an earthquake, drop cover and hold. Uh, and the other thing that's been brought to my attention, Anthony Wilson uh, picked up a $10 note. Now, whoever the cheapskate is <laughs> who dropped the $10 note, if you can prove it's yours, it's up here. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew, for that. Um, look, I want, to start the, I want to start the day with some context. Um, and the context is, as I mentioned um, in my introduction, this is a very timely summit because the various issues relating to water uh, have been coming to the board, no pun intended, over the last little while. Um, the government has, is reviewing the delivery of three water services across the country. We've had the, uh, the Havelock North episode, and very shortly the government will uh, release its response to the recommendations of the review that, uh, of the inquiry that followed that. Uh, there's been an increased focus on fresh water and how we're managing the quality of that. But there's more than one problem, and um, it really goes to the heart of the issue that we uh, in the local government museum have identified some time ago that all these water issues are, are connected, they're interconnected and they, and they impact on one another. So there's more than one problem, there's drinking water quality, there's funding of our three waters infrastructure, there's the impact of climate change on all of those things in various ways and it'll be different in different parts of the country. Uh, and um, probably most top of mind for local government is the funding issues, generally, right across local government. We know that uh, our, our funding streams um, to do what we need to do are not sustainable in the longer term. Uh, water is just the prime example of that, water infrastructure is just the prime example of that. So what we do know, and what we can be absolutely certain of, is that change is coming. Uh, things will have to change, apart from those other uh, problems like Hadlock North, etc., etc., that have um, popped up. From LGNZ's point of view, um, we, we did a lot of three quarters work starting about 2013 and identified a good number of the issues. Um, um, and we, we've, we've identified the issues that, that we uh, have uh, with our water infrastructure and its management. We've got to realise that it's not just a matter of uh, replacing or renewing uh, or building new infrastructure, it's about how we manage it too. Our Water 2050 project work uh, takes three, water, three waters and fresh water work and analysis further. And it's based on the premise that we need an integrated approach to water policy. And uh, LGNZ has been leading that work, uh, as I say, for getting on for about five years. Um, so how do we do this? Um, if we want higher standards of water quality, what will it cost and how will it be paid for? Uh, and that's, um, that's just the funding part. Then there's the governance and regulation part. And our early work anticipates the government response to Havelock North and focuses on governance, um, the framework for regulation of water quality and the costs of infrastructure to meet what will be increased standards. Uh, we've released a discussion paper which looks at the regulation of drinking water and it agrees with the need, this is LGNZ's position, that we agree with the need for an independent water regulator and we propose a co-regulatory approach, i.e. co-regulatory between local and central government, uh, to standards setting. 
Uh, we're now on the second paper that explores in greater detail the design of a, what a, what a co-regulatory uh, regime and standard setting regime would look like. Uh, a framework for water quality. Today we release our discussion paper uh, on the framework for water quality. And frankly, this um, paper shows how complex the regulatory framework is and that costs are not fully considered when standards are set. So our current work is, uh, is exploring the tools available for funding infrastructure, water infrastructure. Um, then this, as I said earlier, this is a perennial issue. Funding for local government infrastructure and services is a perennial issue uh, anyway, uh, and one that has been worked, um, been also been looked at by the government's uh, tax working group. Ahead of our report being finalised, we've developed a stock take of the different tools currently available, and a summary of these, a summary of these is provided today. Our forward work will look at what options we now need to put into uh, the policy development process as part of the government's three waters review and the local government funding inquiry because they both relate to local government's needs. Uh, in terms of infrastructure, we have work underway looking at the current spending on three waters infrastructure and this includes a stock take of stormwater and flood control. Um, stormwater has been a poor relation in, uh, up till now and has, has received perhaps less attention uh, than, it might, than it might have, but well, certainly going to get an increased attention in the, in the future. Um, but we need to be aware that the likely replacement costs of these assets is high, well in excess of the previously flagged $35 billion cost. So we're looking at some pretty uh, challenging uh, figures. Uh, and, we'll, and we will soon have an issues paper with recommendations. So we need to, we need to be uh, thinking now about what change will look like. Uh, first up, the sector is up for change. We recognise um, that in so far, even insofar as we have been asking as a sector for different and more and more diverse funding mechanisms, we obviously can't expect to get those and nothing else to change. So change is on the way. Um, and we, we support it, and uh, the, the, our primary concern would be that the change is worked through in a collaborative way so that everyone comes out for a win-win situation. Um, we, we, we do have to be aware that the problems around water are different in different areas. Uh, so there's a spectrum um, of what change might look like, starting with the regulation of drinking water. And our policy position at LGNZ is that we want outcome-based solutions. We want to be saying, this is where, this is the outcomes we want to get uh, from whatever change there is, and how do we then get to that, rather than starting with the, with the framework or starting with the structure and then trying to get to the outcomes later. We need to be focusing first. Um, so we would, we would like to see standards set and then it, let us work out how we will achieve these and the timelines that will be required. That's another crucial barrier. So um, I, I'd have to acknowledge that we are working really well with central government on these things and we will continue to do so. Um, and our Water 2050 work is feeding into the government government's work on uh, three waters. Uh, today we focus on three waters and tomorrow we'll hear more on uh, fresh water uh, and we will hear about how other jurisdictions organise themselves and how water is regulated. Now among the speakers, just so you know, among the speakers um, we have two from overseas, uh, Marcus um, Ring and Mike Brewster. Um, and they are speaking today but I understand that they will be available tomorrow as well for more, more interaction and engagement. So um, that, just bear that in mind uh, if, if the time gets a bit of time today. 